hello viewers in this unit we shall discuss about the classification of two important orders that is hymenoptera and diptera along with the characters of individual orders and the important families which are important economically now coming to the order hymenoptera hymenoptera is made up of two words hymen and tera hymen means membranous tera means wings so the insect belonging to this order hymenoptera they are characterized by the membranous wings it means the wings are membranous in nature as far as the important characters of hymenopteran insects are concerned the first and most important character is head is hypogonathus it means the long axis of the head is vertical it means the head is attached to the body vertically but head is free and it is very much mobile mouth parts are biting and chewing time and sometime the lapping or sucking type of mouth parts are also found in this order biting and chewing type mouth parts where the insect feeds on the solid food material that is the leaves or very fine tender shoots of the plant whereas the lapping and sucking type of mouth parts are meant for sucking the plant sap or the chlorophyll which is done by the help of the stylets or the needle like structures which are the characteristic features of sucking type of mouth parts with regards to the wings two pairs of wings are present but the wing venation or the wing arrangement is very much reduced it means the longitudinal or the cross wings they are few in numbers as compared to others orders longitudinal wings are those wings which run from the base of the wing towards the anterior margin of the wing whereas the cross wings are those wings which connects any two longitudinal wings so in this case although two pair of membranous wings are present but venation or wing neuration is very much reduced hemuli is present hemuli is a wing coupling mechanism which help the insect to cover more distance in case of hemuli some hook like structures are born on the hind wings which fit into the four wings and thereby a single unit of both wings is formed the first abdominal segment of the insect body is fused with the metathorax it means the first abdominal segment is completely fused 
with the third segment of the thorax ovipositor which is an egg laying apparatus is very much present and it is modified for the purpose of laying the eggs in some of the species stinging or sowing like or piercing like organs are also developed on the abdomen metamorphosis is complete it means all the four stages that is egg larva pupa and adults they can be seen that's why the changes can be seen very well or very easily as far as the different stages of the life cycle is concerned larva is generally known as grub and the characteristic feature of a grub is that it possesses thoracic legs only and no abdominal legs are present besides the member of this order with regards to the immature stages they are always having no legs or technically it is called apodus or we can say that legs are completely absent in immature stage that is known as grub pupa is exarata type and frequently it is enclosed in a silken cocoon silken cocoon in which the pupa rest or it passes one of its stage in the pupal form which is made up of a silk like shell the common representatives belonging to this order includes wasp bees ants and saw flies the important family which comes under this order hymenoptera is tenthidinidae the insects of this family they are medium sized brightly colored head thorax and abdomen it means all the three body divisions of the insects are of equal length it means head thorax and abdomen they are more or less of the same size antennae two pairs but they are 3 to 11 segmented here the ovipositor which is an egg laying apparatus made up of three pair of valves is well developed and the shape of the ovipositor is saw like larvae are phytophagous it means larvae they only feed on the plant material they further bears thoracic legs and abdominal legs it means thoracic as well as abdominal legs are present in the larval stage stages of the insect wings are smoky with black veins which are a prominent characteristic of the family tenthri dinidi coming to the examples mustard saw fly athelia lugens proxima is a noxious pest of mustard and it causes a heavy loss to the crop and thereby reduce the yield and finally the profit is also reduced the second important family under order hymenoptera is apd where we find honey bees different types of honey bees or different species of honey bees 
are common. For example, Apis indica, Apis dorsata, Apis mellifera. Here the head is broad as thorax. It means the length and breadth of the head and thorax is equal. Mouth parts are mostly cheeving and lapping type, particularly in case of honeybees. The body hairs are branched and it gives a velvety appearance. So, insects of the family Apidae, they look like velvet. Four wings are very much prominent along with the four legs which are also present and are cleaning type whereas the hind legs are pollen collecting or pharyngeal type of legs are present where the four legs are modified into antennae like structure or they are commonly known as pollen collecting types of legs. Most of the species they prefer to live in social form. There are three castes which are common in case of this family. A queen is there, a worker is there and males are there. So, these are some of the important characters of the family Epidae. Now, coming to the Diptera, this is one of the important order of agriculture importance where Di stands for two and terra means wings. It means this is the only order out of the 30 orders which have been recognized so far. This is the only order where only one pair of wings are present. Only one pair. One pair is reduced and only one pair out of two is present. That is why the name has been given as Diptera. They are small to medium sized insect with soft body. All the three regions of the body that is the head, thorax and abdomen, they are very distinct. It means one can easily recognize head, thorax and abdomen. Head is mostly hemispherical and it is attached to the thorax by a simple cylinder neck. You must be aware that neck is not present in case of insects, but neck like structure which is technically known as cervix or cervicum which is present. So, head is attached to the thorax by a flexible neck or cervix. Mouth parts are mostly piercing and sucking or lapping type or sponging type of mouth parts. All the thoracic segments are fused together. It means prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax they cannot be easily separated from each other. Haltiers are present. This is a modification of the wings. It means the four wings they are modified and hind wings they are completely vestigial and that is why the name has been derived diptera. It means only one pair of wing is present. Metamorphosis is complete. It means all the four stages of the life cycle are common starting from egg to the adult. 
adult stage is always preceded by a pupal stage as far as the larva is concerned it is apodous and commonly known as maggots so dipteran larvae are known as maggots where no legs are present or they are legless creatures with regards to larval stage only not the adult stage pupa is correcta type and the best example which comes under this order are house flies and mosquitoes now as we know the two important examples of dipteran house flies and mosquitoes we all know that house flies they are not acting as a pest but they cause nuisance to us they spoil our food and ultimately the diseases can be born out as a result of the feeding of the house flies similarly the other groups or other members of dipterans that is the mosquitoes mosquitoes as we know they are responsible for transmitting the viral diseases and this mosquitoes they may be of different groups or different species of mosquitoes are found in the order diptera but out of the different species of mosquito anopheles genus is important which is responsible for transmitting different viral diseases particularly in the human beings and in our domestic animals including poultry animals or poultry birds one important family which is of economic importance is triptidi which is also known as tephritidi these insects are small to medium size and commonly known as flies head is very large broad but it is provided with a neck like structure or cervix in other words we can say that head is attached posteriorly to the middle part of the body that is the thorax by a small neck like structure which is not a true neck it resembles to neck and that's why this area is known as cervicum antennae are present and mostly they are three segmented aristate type of antennae is a common feature of this family aristate means a arista a special type of structure which is known as arista it is present in the flagellum part of the antenna that's why the name has been derived as aristate type of antennae and that makes a peculiar or special character of the family wings are usually spotted or wings are provided with some spots or in some members of the family they are also provided with some bands of different colors 
ovipositor which is an egg laying apparatus in the females is very well developed because they always lay their eggs in the soils so ovipositor should be very much developed or it should be fully developed and the best example is melon fruit fly this is a noxious pest of many cucurbits especially the melons where it destroys both the quality as well as the quantity of the fruits thereby we don't get the return as we expected because of the damage once the damaged fruits are sold in the market they fetch very low prices in this unit we have discussed two important orders hymenoptera and diptera which are of economically important as far as the agricultural crops and storage communities are concerned under the hymenopterans social insects predators parasitoids they all come under this order and have great economic importance we have seen the important characters of the order hymenoptera and the characters of two important families we have discussed similarly in case of dipterans where the mosquitoes and house flies are common creatures and both have their economic importance as we all know mosquitoes are very much responsible for carrying the various viral diseases so they acts as very vectors similarly the house flies though they are not pest but they cause some nuisance to the human beings as well as to the domestic animals or the poultry animals here only one family is important as far as this course is concerned so we have also discuss some of the salient features or the characters of that family